Now, moving on, the Salaries and Remunerations Commission, SRC, has announced a 7% to 10% increase in civil servant salaries. According to the SRC chairperson, Lynn Mengich, the salary increases will be backdated to July 1st this year. And as Alice Diana reports, President William Ruto and his deputy, Rigadi Gashagwa, will not receive a salary increase in the 2023-2024 salary increment for public and state officers following their request that their salaries should not be reviewed. Good morning, everyone. Government employees have a reason to smile after the Salaries and Remunerations Commission, SRC, approved their salary increase that will take effect from July 1st this year, 2023. The decision or about. According to SRC, the salary review is based on the growth momentum that picked up immediately after COVID-19. The final phase of... Addressing journalists on Wednesday, SRC chairperson Lynn Mengich said the National Treasury has allocated 21.7 billion shillings for the year 2023-2024 to undertake the exercise. In 2022, the economy sustained the growth momentum that started in 2021 after the recovery from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hence, a review for the third and fourth year of the review cycle. According to the budget distribution for salary review for state and public officers, teachers will get the lion's share of the pay rise with the Teacher Service Commission allocated 44.2% of the total amount, followed by security sector at 20.9%, while county governments will get 18.8%. Civil services and state officers will get 8.5 and 4.3 percent respectively. The most important point to make, to, to, to take, is to know that the 21.7 billion is adding to the wage bill. So the whole issue is, can you afford it? Can the national treasury afford it? You are adding to the wage, to, to, to the total wage bill, and that is something that you should carry in mind. It is not something, and it's going to be, as soon as you put it now, it's going to be there in perpetuity, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's no time you come and say, please remove the 21.7 billion. Now that, uh, no, it will be there for a long time, so we have to continue budgeting it. And we are budgeting that for this year, and the similar amount for the next year, because we are conscious that we have to come down to the realities that the public sector workers are suffering just because of the shocks that have hit the economy. Those, some of those shocks were supply related. President William Rutos and his deputy regarding Gashagwa's salaries will, however, be retained. SRC boss stated that the commission honored Ruto's request that his and his deputy's salaries not to be reviewed. This means that the president's salary will remain at 1.44 million shillings and the DP's salary will remain at 1.22 million shillings. The increments proposal wanted the president to earn 1.54 million shillings and the DP to earn 1.36 million shillings. In its review, SRC has also scrapped three allowances payable to government employees in what it says is a bid to cut down the wage bill. Mengich argues that the allowances in addition to basic salary amounts to double compensation. Payment of retreat allowance in addition to the basic salary amounts to double compensation and consequently ceases. Payment of sitting allowance for institutional internal committees in addition to the basic salary amounts to double compensation and consequently ceases to be payable. Number three, task force allowance for institutional internal committees. So payment of this allowance in addition to the basic salary amounts to double compensation and consequently ceases to be payable. SRC is now urging all public service institutions to improve on productivity and together deliver the country's agenda for the benefit of its citizens. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alice Thank Diana, you. Hope TV News Watch. Thank you. Uh, press is over.